living area over to the right hand side here. Now, what are you trying to do, love? What are you trying to do? Ceilings. It doesn't feel too claustrophobic, which is good, and double glazing, so not too much noise from the road. Uh, one negative straight away storage radiators and very old ones at that. So, central heating is something you're going to have to factor in to your costs. But then through to the kitchen, and I think there's some internal work needed here. There is a sort of larder stroke um, storage cupboard there. Get rid of that to create a bit more space. Um, there's an under stairs area there. Now, straight away I'm thinking, make that into maybe a downstairs loo. The building regulations change, so you actually need one door in between a loo and a kitchen nowadays. So, stick a downstairs loo in there. And then the kitchen itself, well, um, mm. <laughs> as you can see, it's very dated and old. Um, yeah, it needs a bit of work. Something a bit radical you might want to consider is taking out this wall here. It is a supporting wall, so you have to make sure you did it properly. But then open this whole area out into a big sort of open plan fill. That would be fairly dramatic. So all in all, as grand things go, pretty good. There are certainly options here, but knocking down supporting walls and plumbing in the new loo won't come so they can do exactly that because this is the sort of thing you might find up here in this little attic space um a very strange sort of room it's got some carpet tiles it's always been semi-converted but obviously does not meet any kind of building regulations and could only literally be used for storage but something much more worrying um look at this this is called purlin it's a majorly important structural part of the of the roof and it has been cut basically in half to give access through 